Well, tell me your name, young man. Tamor. Tamor. Mr. Tamor, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? Yes, I have. And how do you know? Because I spoke with other tongues and I collapsed on the floor. Whoa. <laughs> and you collapsed on the... How, how old are you? I'm 13. Okay. <laughs> and, and when did you receive the Holy Spirit? How long ago? It was last year. Okay. 12? Close, close to May. Yes, sir. I was 12. Okay. I remember it very clearly. We were at a youth rally at King's Temple in Shreveport, Section 11 Youth Rally, and the pastor was preaching on receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, where, I mean, I didn't know much about that because I grew up in a local Baptist church, you know, raise your hands, tell the Lord, you know, I want you to be my Savior, and, you know, he'll do the rest is what I knew, and I didn't know that I was lacking. And so the preacher was preaching on receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. And at the end of his sermon, he said, anybody who hasn't received the Holy Ghost yet, come down to the front. So I'm a very shy person, and I stayed back, and I told Sister Ryan, and I was like, I don't know if that's for me. And she was <laughs> like, oh, phooey, it's for everyone. And so we went off to the side, and she started praying with me, and I didn't know what to say. So I just kept on saying, I love you, Lord, over and over again. And... I collapsed and began to speak in tongues, and I held that in. Wait, 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 wait. You collapsed, you spoke in tongues, and I you spoke held in tongues that. And I stopped. And it's very weird. And Brother Bynum later told me that, you know, that I needed to let it all out. And he told me that he knew that I was filled with the Holy Ghost, but. I kind of concealed it in, and I came back to being under control of myself. Whereas at one point, God was in control of my body, and I wouldn't allow that. And so, it's it's just weird, but um, I'm going to go back a little bit, kind of start from the beginning. Sister Vinan was my third grade teacher. <laughs> Sister Vinan, the pastor's wife here, was my third grade teacher. And she started inviting me to children's church that they had at that time every Wednesday. Wait, wait, wait. She could do that in public school? She could be a teacher and invite you? That's back when things were cool. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so she invited me to children's church, and that's how I kind of know some of the people here before I actually came. And I started coming to children's church sometimes. She was my fifth grade teacher, too. And so that's when things really started getting booming and... I met Brother Vinan and he started inviting me. And Sister Vinan taught me piano at school. And so I asked her if she could teach me piano like some other time. And yeah, she invited me up to the church and she she started teaching me piano. And she said I had to make a promise. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and she was like, you have, to, you have to make sure that everything that you do is for the Lord. And I was like, okay. And so she started inviting me to church and everything. And Brother Vine and everybody was nice to me and everything, and I started liking it. And my other church things just, I couldn't feel anything. But when I came here, I just knew that this was the place I needed to be. Everyone was so nice and everything, and I just knew it was for me. And everything kind of falled into place. But I must say, if it wasn't for the Lord placing the violence in my life, I wouldn't be here. Wow. And they really helped me and shaped me into the person I am today. I'm not saying that I'm, like, better than anybody else, but I, I'm blessed. I truly am. Wow. And they've done a lot for me, and I'm thankful for that. Awesome. Wow. Wow. It's pretty brave of you. It's pretty brave. And um I've I've been doing pretty well so far. It was pretty weird for me. I had a supernatural event happen to me. Um the Vinans asked me if I wanted to go to senior camp. And like because I went to junior camp too and I was like I guess so you know it just means an extra week of camp and I was all excited and everything 
<laughs> and it was Wednesday night, and I remember it so clearly. The Lord was preaching on the call of God. And, you know, everyone was going down to the altar, and I was there with Caleb, Sister Vining and Brother Vining's son. And so I was, and he was like, do you want to go to the altar? And I'm like, well, it's just your camp. You can go to the altar if you want to. I mean, I'll just follow you. It's your camp, you know. And he went down there, and I went down there too. And when I was down there, I just didn't know what to do. And I started praying. And eventually the Lord spoke to me. And he revealed something to me that a preacher revealed to me some weeks before when we had a guest preacher come and preach. And he said, you're not king yet. That's what he told me. And my interpretation of that is to let go and let God do whatever he wants to do. And to just try to be simple with everything and thank God for everything. Because, I mean, I can't do that much. I'm just a 13-year-old. But having the courage that I have and being right here right now, I know that the Lord's with me. And just to tell everyone, we can't be doubtful. We have to allow ourselves to do whatever the Lord wants for us. We're, a lot of humans are stubborn. I must say myself, I'm pretty stubborn at times too. <laughs> I don't want to do a lot of things that I have to do. But there's a greater reward if we just allow ourselves to let God take control of everything we have. And the Lord's really blessed me. Amen. Amen. Wow. You know you have the God of the universe living inside of you. Thanks. So your prayers can move mountains. I sure do hope so. Yeah, so 13 doesn't mean a thing to God. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you. You want to, any, any last words? You got any friends or anything you want to say? Uh, any uh, invitations you want to extend? I do want to say one thing. Yes, sir. Anybody can get saved. And anybody can have the same revelation that I have. And we can't put ourselves on a high pedestal because the Lord will bring us down to the ground. Yeah. And so we need to make sure that we try to be humble in everything that we do and just roll with the flow. Roll with the flow. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was Thank awesome. Thank you.